So in this week's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Related Post plugin for WordPress. So you, it's something like this, where you've um, seen on a number of different blogs, where you come to the bottom of a blog post and you see that they suggest some other articles that you might be interested in. And um, there's a number of plugins that do this, but I'm gonna take a look at two that I think are the two best ones out there to um, add to your website. So the first one that we're gonna look at is called Yet Another Related Post Plugin. And this plugin has been around for about three years. It's pretty popular. And um, so this is what I'm using here. So this is what it looks like in the back end. Once you install it, you look for plugins in Add New and search for Yet Another Re Related Post Plugin. And it gets um, the menu for the settings is under Settings and Yarp. And so once you click on the settings, you'll see this page and you can um, edit the plugin to maybe exclude some categories. Um, so by default, what it's looking for is just posts in the same category, but you could also add um, things to look at such as the title, maybe look at content in the body, and that will affect the um, related posts that it shows. And it also lets you change the display if you want to display it as a list. Right now I have it as thumbnails. And you can change the title, let's say if you want to change it from a related post to um, similar articles or something like that. And um, yeah, so it's really basic. This plugin is kind of um, really simple to use and it works pretty well. Um, some things I don't like about it is that these thumbnails are always going to be 150 pixels. So it's, I find it a little bit small for my website because I have rather large featured images and these thumbnails aren't looking so good. Um, so, and I did notice that um, there's really one good feature that I like a lot about this plugin that I haven't seen on other ones is that you can um, limit the length or the you can limit the history. Um, so if you want to only show posts from the last year, because sometimes posts get outdated, you can uh, limit that here. And um, also once I click on this allow uh, display in archives, it also um, displays the related posts on the home page and not just this, um, not just this post page. And um, yeah, so that's all for um, yet another related post plugin. And the second plugin that I wanted to look at is called the WordPress related post plugin. And this is by um, a company called Yamata. And it's also a really popular plugin. It's been, I guess, really good reviews and it's been around for also about three years. And so let me just activate that plugin in my back end. So let me disable that and search for my other plugin. Okay, activate that. Okay, and once this is activated, it adds this menu item on the side here for called related posts. And what's really cool about this plugin, it has actually stats, so you can see if this is actually working for your website, if people are actually clicking on these related posts. Um, if you can, uh, change how many posts that you want to show and it has a lot of different options for um, displaying your related posts. I kind of like this large one right here and so let me just save this and I'll show you by default sort of what you get out of the box with this plugin. So if I refresh this page So now my posts are coming from the WordPress related post plugin. And what's really cool about this feature is that it lets you edit the related posts. So if I didn't like the what was coming back for related posts, I could easily go in here and pick and choose what related posts I want to um, have. So that's a really cool feature of the website. Now what I don't like about this plugin and it's actually not showing up on my home page. Um, it's only showing up on the post page. But if you go back um, here, it has some other cool features where you can actually change the size of the of the thumbnail, which I wasn't getting before. So um, 
I figured out a way to do this. If you click on the customize, you can actually edit the CSS right in here. And so I've already figured out um, if I put, so if I want my thumbnails to be a width of 200 pixels, I figured out that these are the lines I need to edit in the CSS. So if I do width of 200 pixels, and then um, width and height of 200 pixels down below here. And I save that. Now, if I refresh this side, I should see some bigger thumbnails that kind of extend the full width of my page as you do here. Um, oh, the other thing I should mention that with the WordPress um, related post plugin, if you do want to show it on archive pages or homepage, they do give you some PHP code that you can insert into your theme. If you're comfortable with that, you can look on their support page and they'll show you what to enter there. But here's our two really simple plugins that you can use that work pretty well and hopefully get you some more click throughs on your web page so if you like this uh, subscribe to my um, youtube channel and i'll have mo more videos like this every wednesday on wordpress